Good morning again everyone. It's Pastor John here at Napanee Baptist Church and it's good to be with you. It's Wednesday, July 7th. I hope you're keeping well. I hope you are continuing on to trust God every day and to look to Him and to rely on His Word and to be filled with His Spirit as God's people. And we are excited about what God is doing in our church family and in our personal lives. And it's good to be with you just to join together as God's people to read His Word, commit our day to Him. And so if you have your Bibles handy, could you turn to the book of Psalms, Psalm chapter 54, just a short psalm we're going to read together and I'll comment a little bit and then we'll pray and commit our day to the Lord. Let's read his word and uh, I just want to encourage you, keep looking to him, keep being in prayer, keep having devotions, reading your Bible and if you can make it out to our midweek Bible study here at the church on Wednesday afternoons at 1.30. I would encourage you to come out. We also have a ladies meeting on Tuesday afternoons at 1.30. And of course we have our Sunday mornings and we're up and running again and things are opening up. So I just want to encourage you to keep looking up, keep trusting our God and being in his word daily. So let's take a look at Psalm 54. Let's read it together. It says, Save me, O God, by your name. Vindicate me by your might. Hear my prayer, O God. Listen to the words of my mouth. Arrogant foes are attacking me. Ruthless people are trying to kill me. People without regard for God. Verse 4, Surely God is my help. The Lord is the one who sustains me. Let evil recoil on those who slander me in your faithfulness, destroy them. Verse 6, I will sacrifice a free will offering to you. I will praise your name, Lord, for it is good. You have delivered me from all my troubles, and my eyes have looked in triumph on my foes. This is a psalm of victory, a psalm of encouragement for us. I love verse 4, surely God is my help. The Lord is the one who sustains me. So often we think that it's our own ingenuity or it's our own strength or our own possessions uh, or something else is sustaining us and that is helping us to stay secure and safe. And yet God is my help. The Lord is the one. Who sustains me. We think of this pandemic for the last 16 months. It's God who has kept us going. It is God who has come alongside us and helped us and sustained us. And then he talks about sacrificing a free will offering in verse 6. I will praise your name, Lord, for it is good. You have delivered me from all my troubles. Is that your testimony today? That God has delivered you, that he has proven himself over and over again. And God is the rescuing God. He is the God of deliverance and salvation. And not only does he save us in the beginning when we come to him and he comes to us and we turn from ourselves and we repent and we put our faith in Jesus as our Savior and we trust him, he also continues to do that. He continues to deliver us from all our troubles. And then the psalmist ends the psalm by saying, And my eyes have looked in triumph on my foes. Can you say that about not just people, but about troubles in your life? Your eyes look on your troubles in triumph or your trials or your hard times? In Christ, when we put our hope in Him, when we keep our eyes on Him, when we focus on our God, we can have this kind of confidence. We can have victory in Christ. He delivers us from all our troubles, and we can look in triumph on our troubles. 
and on those things that are trying to take us down. Uh, we can have the victory in, in Christ because he has had the victory. He rose triumphantly over death and hell and sin, and we can too. So may you be encouraged today. Again, I keep saying it almost every day. If you'd like to get a hold of me, please call the church or email or text me. Uh, please uh, get a hold of me if you would like to get together. And who knows, pretty soon now we'll be able to see each other face to face and I will be able to get out there and do real visiting. So this has been a substitute having these visits with the pastor because I haven't been able to get out there face to face. So God bless you today. Let's just pray and commit our Wednesday to him. Let's pray. Father, I thank you again for this opportunity to gather together as your people and to be encouraged in your word. And I pray that you would bless each one who's watching. Uh, revive us, restore us, renew us. Help us, Lord, day by day to have the victory in you, to realize that you are our present help in times of trouble that we know that you will deliver us from all those things that try to defeat us or discourage us or take us down. So Lord, I just pray that your hand would be on each person, that you would meet each need. We thank you for what you're doing in our church family, how you've preserved us and sustained us all the way along. We thank you. And so Lord, we just give you this day Again, bless each one, be with each one who's watching, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you, everyone, and we'll see you again tomorrow on Thursday. Take care. Bye-bye.